Hey guys, it's Jen. Um, I'm here with this, um, well I'm going to be using it as a Father's Day card, but it could also uh, make for a really nice um, a birthday card for a guy or, or for a teenage boy. But I, I made this uh, card using the Cricut Imagine Buccaneer cartridge. And I really like this cartridge. There's a lot of neat uh, different uh, things on this cartridge. And I've been having a lot of fun using it. But this card I thought would be perfect for my husband. So that's going to be for him for Father's Day. I have already started it because I tried to videotape it, but the kids came in. They started making a lot of uh, noise. So I'll explain what I've done so far. I've just taken a 6x12 a piece of paper. I folded it in half. And then this top sheet is uh, 5 and 3 fourths by 5 and 3 fourths. And I just took my um, distressor and went around the edges. And then... I used um, my Tim Holtz ink and I uh, just distressed the edges with a uh, vintage photo. Okay, so we have this, the base of it. So I'm going to go ahead and take um, the ship off of the mat. This is a brand new, well, pretty new mat, so everything's still really sticky. I try to use my newer mats in my Imagine, and then as they get old, I use them in my expression because if you don't have it sticky and it goes through the Imagine machine, it can get stuck in there and cause all kinds of problems. So, okay. Got our ship off. I'm going to go ahead and put, peel the sign off. That's going to go inside the card. And then we have our shark. The other one I used the, the crocodile, but this one I'm going to use the shark on. Make them a little bit different. Okay. Okay, we have our parts off our mat. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that down really well. Using ATG where I can. Little ATG's hanging over, so I'm gonna fold that under. Okay. Probably should have gotten my Zig two way pin out, but my ATG was sitting right here on my desk. Oh, wait, before we do that, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna take this piece of paper here, it's the water at the bottom, and to do that, what I did is I have this uh, Fisker's paper edger. I rarely even use it, but I pulled it out of my uh, my tool stash to do this with it. And what I'm going to do is just rip the paper like that. Kind of create like that water effect. Okay, and then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to distress it up just a little bit more because it wasn't quite distressed enough as it tore. Kind of gives that water ripply effect. Okay. Then I'm just going to layer the two pieces. Kind of like, like that. And I'm going to trim up the edges. Oh, there goes my tiny attacher. And I'm going to stick it on the edge of the card, see where it meets up. And then after I tape that down, I'm going to just trim off the edge off the side. So I kind of just stressed a lot on this card because I want everything to be nice and rugged. I could have taken some time and like exactly measured this, but I didn't want it to be perfect. I want it to be a little off. So my husband is a rugged kind of guy, so I don't want it to be just perfect. Okay. 
There we go. So now we got our water at the bottom. And now we can attach our ship over the water. Okay. Lay that down. And then I think with the shark, I'm going to pop it up on a, a dimensional. Put him down here. And then we have our pelican that I cut out. Oh, and all the dimensions. I think the ship is um, 5.2. The bird, the pelican, is at 1. Um, the shark I did at 1.8. And then the man I did at 1.8. So we'll go ahead and pop that pelican up. I think I'm going to put him over here at the top, sitting up there on one of the sails. And then the guy, put him on pop dots too. And put him over here. So it's a really simple, quick card. It doesn't take very long to uh, put together. Okay, now for the inside, what I'm going to do is this is a pattern paper, so what I'm going to do is take two uh, five and three fourths by uh, five and three fourths cream cardstock, and I'm going to line the inside of the card, and then also we can put our sign on there or stamp anything that we wanted to say. I like this card because I was able to whip it out in under 10 minutes, you know, cutting it and trimming it and getting it on. So, if I need another card in the future, I can make this one again pretty quickly. Okay, there we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and distress some of the edges here on this too. Just kind of smear it all around. Make it look kind of messy and old and okay. there we go. And then we'll take our sign. Here, and we'll go ahead and hear that down in the middle and I'm going to stamp um, Happy Father's Day on this one. Shh. I'll be right there sweetie. Okay we'll go ahead and lay this down and maybe, maybe I'll do um you know I think I'll do my sentiment happy birthday on this one. Hold on one. Sorry guys, I'll be right back. My little guy's saying he's gotta go to the bathroom. So he um he's only he just turned three, so he doesn't know how to let himself into the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I'm gonna have to hurry this card up because the kids are getting kind of restless. They've been looking forward to getting outside and playing. So what I did is I just lined up where I kind of want the happy birthday to be, and then I'm just gonna press it into my acrylic block and then I'll go ahead and ink it up. I'm going to use stays on brown because this is not a great stamp set and when I use other inks it just does not want to um, go on nice. Okay we'll go ahead and stamp happy birthday on this one. Okay, and then on the front, the last little touch that I want to do is just take some um, dimensional um, oh, uh, kind of like uh, Perfect Pearls. But this is like a coppery browns I picked it up. I can't even remember what the name of this one is. 
but the I don't like to use it that much because it's constantly clogging. Okay, here we go. At the top of the sails, I'm just going to put some dobs up there. Okay, and then down here at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and use the green and fill in down here. Sorry about all the noise in the background. As I said, my kids are getting restless, but... Okay, that's it. That's all I've done here. Um, really simple and, and easy. Sorry guys about all the noise again. And thanks for um, sticking through me on this video, with me through on this video. Have a great day guys. Bye.